Okay, we're back. Okay, these eyes, I drew another pair of eyes so I could show you with the white dot in it. I don't know if you can see that really well. But that's what it looks when you have the reflection in the eye. And these eyes are pretty much basically the same as the other ones, a little bit bigger. Here's the nose. The nose, I think, is it's one of my favorite things to draw. If you're drawing real realistic, you want to make sure that the proportion is right. But if you're doing whimsy, you do what you want. You do what makes you happy. You don't have to follow any rules. Art shouldn't have rules, in my opinion. I hear a lot of people say, well, I would have done this, or I would have done that, or you can improve it by this, or you can improve it by that, but bottom line is, this is your art. So you do what you want. This is how I do my nose. I make, I, I go about the same distance every time, or close to, and I put a smile, like a little cartoony smile. It's pretty easy. I've taught kids in the neighborhood this. Then on the end of the smile, you can put little dots. Like this. Right? So there you go. You got a smile with dots. And all you got to do is right under the, the dot, you put a curl for the nostril. And then you do the same on this side. And there you go. That easy. You got a nose. Takes probably 30 seconds. Put a little line here for the top of the nose. And you can draw in like a nose bridge right here. Okay. There you go. Put some shading in right here. We're not going to go into shading in this. But anyway, you get the point. That gives you your nose. For the mouth, it's pretty much the same. I go how I like. Uh, I don't go too far from the nose, but I put in another little smiley face, about the same as the nose. I always get this off a little bit. And it's not as easy as you think, holding a camera. I'm trying to make sure I'm staying in, in you know, the camera angle. But I make that little smiley, and then I softly round the top, and I'm going to make it smile. There we go. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to do the other side, try to do it the same way. There, not too bad. It's a little bit crooked. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. And we'll take our eraser and get rid of this part of the line. I try not to erase too often. You get it wrong sometimes, or you feel like you do anyway. We're all our own worst critics. Okay, for the top lip, I always used to do too thick, but I learned to do a lot thinner. So you put another circle, this time, a li or a little smiley face, but a little bit smaller this time, right there underneath the first one. I kind of like to do. This part of the lip, all uneven. Uh, not too bad, not to look stupid, but just like, it's not supposed to be perfect, right? Like that. And it can even extend a little bit past where the top lip ends. Like that, make it go out. Now, if you draw a line from that those smileys right down, that should be the middle of your bottom lip. Can you see that? Okay, so if I want to bring my bottom lip down, you, there's lots of ways to make a bottom lip. You can make it big or small or so right there. I want to come up, that's the middle. And I want to come down with another. Bring it up. There we go. And that ends up in the middle of the bottom. And it looks pretty cute.
get rid of that line in the middle. You can keep it if you want, but I always, you know, sometimes I keep it and sometimes I don't. I like to put like little lines, lip lines, you know, and then do all the shading and all the fun stuff, you know. Highlighting. So there's kind of like a face. Now, to do whimsical, you've got to bring your, your eyes almost touch the side of the face. So you just kind of round it. I always do mine kind of round it out. Let's see. Hope I hope I get this in the camera. Down to here. And the same thing with this side. Round it out. Down to here. And then find a happy medium somewhere in the middle. And then you can mess around to make sure both sides kind of are about the same. And then the top of the head, oh, I can see this should blow out a little bit more. Anyway, you get the you get the point. Then the top of the head. Now here's where I always I always put my top of the head right here, and that's not right. You need to go way up, almost, ooh, almost like the same width or the same part of. The bottom part of the head that's where I always made my mistake now see there you got a whimsical face and then instead you know you go real light with this just to get an idea and then start doing your hair from way up here you can start bringing it down See, now I got to get back a little bit, but I don't want to get you too out of focus. There we go. And then you can just play with it. You can, um, you can also add all kinds of, um, if it's whimsical, oh, you got to put your eyebrows in, so you just kind of we'll come back in. You just kind of make lines till you get to here, and then kind of go out. Same thing here. Dash the lines. You know how eyebrows are. You can make them bushy or thinner, however you like. You know, just so they have eye eyebrows. And you can do your own kind of thing, like. You can put like a band here and then have things hanging from the band, like hearts. Oh, yeah, like that. You know, do, do whatever makes you happy. That is my idea of a whimsical face. That's pretty cool. I like it. I think it has a lot of character. Um, if you need any extra help with any other part, like if you want me to go over the nose more or the mouth, um, let me know. Oh, I always put a part for the chin right here. Now, some people put, you can do the chin like that. Some people like to go right up underneath the lip. And then make the chin a little bit shorter. You know. But you do what makes you happy. You can do it any way you want to. It works. It works for me. She could be like a little Indian princess or something. Oh, and the lines. There we go. You can wispy lines. You can even do, if you really like to get into the eyes, let's see if I can show you this. If you do jiggity jaggedy from the outer edge, like a heartbeat, it makes it look kind of cool. 
and the outside edge of the eye is dark anyway, then you keep your lines in there that go to the eye, you know, to the pupil. And there you go. Look at the difference. I think I like my jiggity jaggedy lines. There we go. I don't know if I can do a close up of that. Let's see if I can bring it in. Yeah, that's a really good eye. I like that. But if you're drawing realistic and you like realistic better, you never want the eyes to be right at the edge of the face. You want to bring, you want to really study the proportions. I really don't care. It's my art. I do what I want to do, and I always do whimsical. But there you have it. And I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm at my 10-minute mark, so I'm going to wrap this one up. And if you need any help with any other thing, let me know. I'll be glad to fill it in. Thanks. Thanks for watching.